text-based editing in DaVinci Resolve is an absolute game changer if you want to spend less time doing the boring stuff and have more time to really make your edits shine. Come into DaVinci Resolve and then add one or more clips to a timeline or create a new timeline. Right click on the timeline, come to AI Tools, Audio Transcription and then choose Transcribe. DaVinci Resolve is now going to go through all of the clips on the timeline and recognize the talking inside those clips and then it's going to pop up this transcription box which if you want to you can move around. Click these two buttons to make the text bigger or smaller just so you can see it on smaller screens and click here to switch between dark and light modes. When you click on these words the little red triangle is going to appear above them and in the timeline the playhead moves around. These three dots represent a silence or a pause in the talking. And if I select new pieces of text, we get new areas of the timeline selected. That means we can really quickly delete parts we don't want. To delete sections, just highlight the text and hit backspace. That deletes that section from the timeline. You can manually delete these pauses by selecting them and hitting backspace on the keyboard. Or you can come up to these three little dots and choose remove silent portions. Before I do that, let me just zoom out of the timeline, click the three dots and choose remove silent portions and watch what happens down here. It's removed all of those pauses and filled in the gaps. You can go and delete the sections that you want. We've now got these gaps in the timeline. We can quickly fix that up by clicking in the timeline, coming to the edit menu and choosing delete gaps. You can of course fine tune these cut points by closing the transcription window, hitting T on the keyboard and then using the trim edit tool to fine tune where those edit points fall. To edit even faster than this, make sure you watch this video next. I'm Jason Roberts, this is DaVinci Dojo and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.